A new soy-free, meat-free alternative has arrived in South Africa. Corn. 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 By the end of the week, South African food lovers will all know the name Corn. The brand has been available in the UK for more than 20 years, where over 500,000 meals are prepared every day with corn as the main ingredient. And it is also available in the US and Europe from the same family as truffles. That's naturally low in fat and high in protein and dietary fiber. Plus, it contains all the essential amino acids found in other forms of meat. Dr. Tim Finnegan, Corn's Director of Research and Development, says it is quite the discovery. There are nine products in the range available in South Africa. The true test, though, is the taste. It does really taste like chicken. Because they said to me a corn fritter, and I went, corn doesn't look like that. But it really, really does taste like chicken. Flavor very nice. Barbecue. I'm tasting barbecue and the texture is nice as well. It tastes like chicken. It's, it's fantastic. It's really good. Um, the texture is um, very palatable. And um, yeah, I'm enjoying a mini hamburger now. It's lovely. What an occasion. It's great to bite into something new on our shores. What a fantastic launch it was yesterday and definitely something that's going to take the country by storm. Well, corn is the world's leading brand in soy-free and meat-free products and joining us this morning is one of the main people behind this incredible new food source. Corn's Director of Research and Development, Tim Finnegan, is here to tell us more about this internationally renowned range of sustainable, healthy foods. Good morning, Tim. How are morning, you? Morning, Leanne. I'm great. It's really good to be here. I'm and sorry. I promise you, I haven't brought the weather with me. It's <laughs> such a disappointment. I but, know. Yeah. I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hopefully it'll get better. Well, yeah. Well, I certainly am having a fantastic time because I've recently had the chance to taste this amazing product. But before we talk more <clears> about <throat> it, tell me more about the name Quorn. It's quite a peculiar name. Where did it come from? Well, we think that the name goes back to the 1960s, which yeah. is where the idea comes from. Uh, and we think that one of the team at the time, which is even before my time, uh, must have lived in Quorn, which is a village in Leicestershire in the, in the UK. Yeah. So it kind of had some sort of connection. It's got a memorable name, I think, but yeah. uh, actually what we really want people to remember is the great taste and texture of corn foods. I absolutely think that, yeah. that that's going to happen as yeah. well. Now, Tim, why the decision to launch the project, <coughs> product in South Africa and why has it taken you so long to do that? Oh. I know. Well, quite simply, I think, because consumers were asking us yeah. that they, uh, they'd seen what was going on in the UK, they'd seen what was happening in, in other countries. They'd seen these sort of great, healthy new foods that were coming along, and they just said, look, why can't we have this in South Africa? Yeah. So, and there's definitely a trend towards eating less meat that we're, we're seeing in, in South Africa. So, um, you know, we're picking up on that and we're offering people a healthful new choice. And yeah. not just for vegetarians, but for people who want to eat more healthy, eat less meat. Yeah. And it's so easy as well if you want to cook your favourite chilli or bolognese. Just use corn mince and without all those fat and calories you can have a fantastic food. I agree with you. Now, yeah. when I go shopping for food, <coughs> I usually go after things that are going to taste really well and things that I know. What can people expect when they uh, buy the corn brands? Well, we think that our foods offer just fantastic texture. Yeah. That's, that's the thing that we're really about our products. Um, our chicken is just like, you know, real, real kind of meaty uh, texture, which people love. Yeah. But most importantly, I think, it's the versatility. You can cook all your favourite meals, just not loaded down with, with fat and calories. There's none of that taste that sometimes you get associated with soy products. Yes. So that's really important, I think, because yeah. we want to try to help people, you know, eat less meat. People yeah. want to do it. They're saying... Now, how can we do this? So, corn mince, great, you know, just cook your favourite chilli, but use corn mince. I love that. And it tastes just like mince. I mean, I oh, had yeah. the opportunity to <clears> taste <throat> it yesterday. Now, there's this big trend moving towards environmental sustainability. It's on a lot of people's minds. Yeah. How does corn fit in with that? Ah, oh, well, this is really important to yeah. us. It's, it's kind of in our DNA. It's why the business started in the first place, sort of going back right to the 60s, trying to find something that was environmentally more benign. And the way that we produce our corn is just, it's just fantastic. And we've worked with a number of universities, uh, with Carbon Trust in the UK, just to really try to, to put some numbers to this. And we're finding that corn mince, for example, has up to 10 times less embedded carbon wow. than, uh, than beef mince. Yeah. You know, it's a really powerful story. So not only is it better for you, mm. it's better for the planet as well. Yeah. Now, I know there's a lot of people that embrace <coughs> meat-free Mondays. Is corn suitable for everyone, or is it just something that vegetarians need to eat, or can anyone enjoy this? Well, pretty much anybody, but uh, and we, we would say that if, if you've got an, um, an intolerance to egg, then yeah. there's some egg in our products, mm -hmm. so you, know, you shouldn't eat corn, maybe. Uh, if, you, if you don't get on with mushrooms, maybe not. 
Uh, a lot of our products are not gluten-free. So there's a few kind of groups that, unfortunately, at the yeah. moment, we're saying not suitable. But for the vast majority of people, just yeah. a really great way to offer taste, health and convenience. Wow, thank you so much for that, Tim. I must say I'm very excited about that and I'm taking those three packs home with me. Fabulous. I'm just saying thank yeah. you so much for you, pleasure. Jo uh, yeah. joining us in the show today. And um, I'm sorry about the weather. Oh, really yeah. sad that it's raining. Oh, I am. Well, it's like being at home. This is barbecue weather at home or bry oh, weather. Oh, fantastic, so, fantastic. Yeah. Are you a fan of beach volleyball, though? I love volleyball. Wow, yeah. there we go. From someone who loves beach volleyball to three beach volleyball enthusiasts, let's go and find out more about the sport.